Good morning, dear students. Good morning, teacher. I've gone through your homework books. Some of you were able to write very good essays. I'm happy about it. I feel others need to improve. Would you like to write good essays, prose, or compositions? Yes, teacher. Today's lesson will help you to write sentences in a better way. Students, now look at this. This is a page from your reader. What do you see here? Are all the sentences running continuously? No, you see that if they are divided into certain sections or divisions. These sections or divisions are called as paragraphs. Now, what does a paragraph contain? It is made up of sentences. Related sentences are put together to form a paragraph. Therefore, if you write sentences and put them around a central idea, all such sentences would form a paragraph. Now look at this picture. Who is the man here? He is a farmer. What is he doing? He is plowing. Where is he? He is in the field. Yes. So we have three important words. Farmer, plowing, field. Farmer, plowing, field. Can we make a sentence using these words? Yes. 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 You can say, the farmer is plowing the field. The farmer is plowing the field. So you have used the words farmer, plowing, field as clues to make a sentence. These clues may be called as hints or keywords. The hints by themselves do not carry complete meaning. You have to join them up meaningfully. Hints or keywords. Now look at this picture and try to guess the hints. Look at Vimala. What is she doing? She is carrying a pot. What does this pot contain? Maybe water. So the hints or keywords are Vimala, carrying, pot, water. Vimala, carrying, pot, water. Can you frame a sentence using these words? Yes, we say Vimala is carrying a pot of water. Vimala is carrying a pot of water. Now look at yet another picture. What do you see here? We see a man. What is the man doing? He is milking the cow. Where is the man? He is in the shed. Now, with the help of these words, frame a sentence. The words are man, milking, cow, shed. Man, milking, cow, shed. A man is milking a cow in the shed. Yes, a man is milking a cow in the shed. A man is milking a cow in the shed. Now look at this picture. She is gauri. What is she doing? Look, she is buying vegetables. Where is she buying? She is buying vegetables in the market. Can you pick up the hints from the conversation we just had? Gauri buying vegetables market. Gauri buying vegetables market. Can you frame a sentence using these hints? Gauri is buying vegetables in the market. We can say, Gauri is buying vegetables in the market. Gauri is buying vegetables in the market. Look at Shankar and identify the hints to make a sentence. Shankar Sikh. Shankar Sikh. Yes, use the hints to make a sentence. Shankar is sick. Now students tell me, do you go to school when you are sick? No, we send a leave letter. Yes, now to the above words add another hint, leave letter. 
Can you make a sentence now using the words Shankar, sick, leave letter? Shankar, sick, leave letter. Shankar is sick, so he sent a leave letter. Shankar is sick, so he sent a leave letter. Now that you are able to make sentences, I would like to give you certain hints that can be used to make a few sentences. Now look at these hints. Ramu, village, Kamala, sister, one day, Ramu's mother, sick, father, go, feel, plowing. Now use these hints and make a few sentences. Ramu lives in a village. Kamala is his sister. One day Ramu's mother fell sick. Ramu's father had to go to field for plowing. Ramu lives in a village. Kamala is his sister. One day Ramu's mother fell sick. Ramu's father had to go to the field for plowing. Look at some more hints in continuation of the above hints. We have Ramu went, village pond, bring water, Kamala went, market, vegetables, cooked food. Now use these hints to make a few sentences. Ramu went to the village pond and brought a pot of water. Kamala went to market and bought vegetables and then she cooked food. Ramu went to the village pond and brought a pot of water. Kamala went to market and bought vegetables and then she cooked food. Now look at some more hints and try to frame sentences. Ramu, doctor, medicines, told she'll be all right. Ramu, brought, medicines, bread, mother, took medicine, all right, Ramu did not go school, send leave letter. Ramu called a doctor, the doctor treated Ramu's mother and said she will be all right. The doctor gave medicines, Ramu bought some more medicines and bread for his mother. Mother took the medicines and became all right. As Ramu could not go to school, he sent a leave letter. Ramu called a doctor. The doctor treated Ramu's mother and said she will be all right. The doctor gave medicines. Ramu bought some more medicines and bread for mother. Mother took the medicines and became all right. As Ramu could not go to school, he sent a leave letter. Students, these sentences which are just framed can be put into a few paragraphs. Read all the three paragraphs you have made just now and it becomes a story. This way, we learn to write paragraphs using hints. I hope you like this lesson on paragraph writing and learned how to write paragraphs.